Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so I just came across this video um, from one of my favorite smaller YouTubers, um, HMM Makeup, um, and it was the uh, part-time YouTuber tag. And apparently this is originally created by Monica AP. And I also actually subscribed to her as well, um, but I never saw this video when she originally posted it because hers went up like back in October. Um, so anyways, I just saw HMM Makeup do it and I thought it was a perfect tag video for me to do. Um, I don't do a whole lot of tag videos because I feel like a lot of them don't really apply to me necessarily. Um, but this one was perfect because it's for part-time YouTubers and that's exactly what I am. So, um, I will just get right into it. Um, of course, after I have a sip of coffee, like usual. <laughs> that went down the wrong tube. <coughs> wow, sorry guys. Whew, eyes are watering from that. <laughs> All right, so um, question number one is what is your main gig? Do you work full time? Are you a student, a parent? Spill the beans. Well, I'll get it out of the way that no, I'm not a student. Um, I used to be a student. I went to university straight out of high school when I was 18 or whatever and just did a four-year Bachelor of Arts program. Um, so I do have a BA in Ancient Mediterranean Studies. Super random and it's not related to my career or my YouTube channel, so just total waste of time. Um, if you want more of my thoughts on the giant waste of time that is college, I do have a video on that. So you can go peruse my videos and find that um, Is College Worth It, I believe, is the title of that video. Um, so you can check it out. Um, but enough on bashing college. Um, no, I'm not a student. I'm not a parent yet. I hope to become a parent in the near future, but that's all I'm really going to say on that because I don't want to, I don't want to go into my, too much of my plans there because plans don't always work out when it comes to having kids. Um, but hopefully, hopefully in the not too distant future, I will be able to say I'm a parent. Um, and then do what is my main gig and do I work full time? Yes. Um, so I do work, work full time, but it's kind of an interesting situation because um, my main job is I'm a wedding photographer. So I end up working like from May through till like I live in Canada. Um, so people don't get married in the winter here, really. Like it's very rare. Um, so I end up working from May through till usually end of November. Um, and that's like considered the busy season for weddings, like wedding season. Um, so I end up working like a ton during that time, like 60 hour weeks, like every single week, basically, um, for that whole entire time. And then I go through a long period of like a lot of, a lot of downtime. Um, so I'm still like working on my business while I'm doing that. Um, like during the downtime, uh, just doing updating my contracts or doing updates to my website, um, uploads on social media, things like that. Like just the, um, backend stuff, but there's definitely a slowdown between the opposite time of the year. Right. So like December through April, I don't really have a lot going on. Usually I'll have like maybe two to three weddings in that span of time. So that's not enough to keep me busy like full time. So that's why I say it's like a unique situation because although if you added up the total number of hours that I work for the entire year, it would be a full time amount. It's just that I pack them all in in a small period in a half the year basically. And then the other half the year I have like way more free time. So um, that's why um, when I started this YouTube channel, in December, the whole the whole reasoning behind the timing of that was that I was finally done with busy season at work and I was, I don't know if you guys experience this, but like, you know, like after you have like a really, really busy time, like either with like schoolwork or something and then it goes from being insanely busy and then all of a sudden you have nothing to do and it's like, you enjoy it for like a day and then you're like, oh my God, I'm so bored right now. Um, that's kind of what, like how I was feeling at the end of the busy season this year. So that's kind of why I started the YouTube channel when I did. Okay. Question number two, um, what made you want to start YouTube? Okay. So 
originally i wanted to i was thinking about starting a youtube channel for my business like for my photography business where i was talking more about like wedding photography and stuff like that like i don't know like more of like an educational type channel about like how to start a wedding photography business and like stuff like that but then i kept on um not going through with it and not doing it because I felt like if I were going to be taken seriously as a credible person talking about wedding photography, um, I would need to film, like I would have to have pretty high production value for my YouTube channel. Like I would have to have, um, I would have to do like extensive editing. I would have to film it on my, you know, professional grade camera. It would have to be like top quality. You know what I mean? Cause that was going to be a representation of not just of me, but of my my brand and my business and um that just was very daunting to me because I was like oh well that's like way more work than I want it to be like I just want something to be able to like just do something fun and record myself and then just pop it on the internet like I didn't want to give it that much effort and time because I felt like I'm already busy enough like with the rest of the aspects of this whole business that like this YouTube was going to just be supplementary and it started to when I rationalized it, I started thinking wow like this is going to be so intense that it's going to like it's going to be like a huge component of my business and I really didn't want that so um so that's kind of like originally why I wanted to start a YouTube channel in general and then I ended up just starting this one as more like a fun thing because I figured like I just didn't I just sort of changed my mind about doing the one about my business so um question number three what is your channel about do you stick to one niche or do you cover a few I mean if you guys are watching this then you've probably seen some of my other videos but if not um mainly it's beauty related um I talk about makeup I do getting ready with me stuff like that but like at the same time it's also kind of like lifestyle-ish stuff or like just personal stuff like stories and things like that like story times um yeah kind of like all over but I wouldn't say totally all over the place like they're all kind of the same format like me sitting here talking to you guys it's not I don't vlog I don't like take my camera with me and go like around town and stuff like that so like there's it's definitely like niched down a little bit just not like super specific I guess um also, um, I'm sure people have noticed this and I'm looking at myself as I'm filming this and it's bugging the crap out of me, but I totally am aware that my eyeliner is not even today. Like this eye is way thicker and weirder and it's driving me insane because I hate it. It looks so bad, but like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like redo my makeup or whatever. It's just like this one got weirdly thick, like on the outside of the wing. And then this one's not at all, but so I just wanted to to tell you guys that I do know that I look like this, but you know what? Screw it. <laughs> All right. So number four, did you always know YouTube would be a side gig or did you slash do you ever want to be a full-time YouTuber? Um, I never, I never thought or considered YouTube as a full-time thing. So in that sense, yeah, I always knew it would be like a side gig, but like at this point I'm not even monetized. So it's not even a side gig, um, like in terms of making any money from it, like I'm not making any money from this. Um, obviously it would be great if I got to the point where I was making a little bit of extra money, like on the side from YouTube, um, that would be great. But like the, the thought of being a full-time YouTuber seems like so out of the realm of possibility for me. Cause I feel like I would need to dedicate a lot more time and energy into making this YouTube channel, like really amazing. And because I have a full-time job, I just can't really afford to do that. Um, and that's okay. Like, I don't really mind because I love my job. I love being a wedding photographer. I love being, um, you know, an entrepreneur, like I ha having my own business and being, it is similar in a sense to YouTube because I, I do get to have a little bit more control over when I work and um, how much work I take on and things like that. So I'm totally happy where I am, like in terms of my career. Um, but yeah, I mean, a little, if this turns into a, a real side gig um, and I get a little extra money from YouTube, that would be, that would be great, but we'll see. What is your schedule like? When do you film and when do you edit? Well, you guys know I don't edit. I just <laughs> record myself talking and then take a picture for the thumbnail and upload it. <laughs> That's it. Um, so I don't 
set aside any time for that. Um, as far as when I film and what my schedule is like, um, like I kind of touched on in the beginning of this video, um, my work is very much seasonal. So since I just started this channel in December and it's now January, I've only been doing it for a month, but I've had like lots and lots of time on my hands to kind of like do this. Um, so, so far my schedule is like really open and I've had to do like a little bit of work here and there, um, for my business, but it's definitely not like taking my main focus right now. Um, that's obviously going to change when I get busy again in the summer. Um, but I will just, I guess, have to cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, I do kind of have a plan in mind for it. Like, I think I'm just going to have to do a lot more pre-filming and I already don't like do editing. So it should still be very much doable. It just means that like right now, the, the times that I film are mainly dictated just by the amount of light that's coming in my window that I'm looking at right now. Um, so like I don't film at night because it's too dark and I don't really want to set up a whole lighting system. So I just use natural light. So that's really the only time, only thing dictating when I film and that might have to change in the summer when I'm too busy and I only get a chance to film at like 12 o'clock at night. Like, I don't know, we'll have to see. And at that point, like I'm hoping that I'll still be able to pre-film when the lighting's good and it won't just be a bunch of really bad quality, like bad lit, badly lit videos, but I haven't really thought that far ahead yet, so we'll just uh, see what happens. Um, the, the good thing is like being a wedding photographer, I'm mainly working like weekends at weddings and then I'm working from home during the week. So it does give me a little bit more flexibility to do this like during the daytime if I have the time. So anyway, um, okay, next question is, how do you keep your YouTube channel organized? Do you plan videos ahead or just film what you feel like? Um. I'm not the most organized person in the world. I'm really not um, at all. So there isn't a whole lot of organization to this channel. I just kind of film what I want. I mean, at this point, like I said, I'm not even monetized. I have under a hundred subscribers. So like, it's not like I'm getting a lot of input from my subscribers saying, do this, do that, or we want to see this or more of this, less of that. Any, any kind of input like that I haven't yet gotten. Um, feel free to comment though, if you have any any suggestions or like cr constructive criticism, that's fine. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I'm just kind of doing what I want, like when I want. And if I feel the need to change that in the future, I will, but I'm, I'm not overly organized. I don't make like a, like a bunch of lists and video ideas and stuff. I just like today's video, basically, if I come across something like a tag that I think would be cool for me to do, uh, then I just turn on my camera and do it. So. Um, Number seven, how do you feel about sponsored videos on YouTube? Have you or would you ever do one on your channel? Um, how I feel about them? Well, I feel like they're fine as long as it's disclosed that it's a sponsored video. I think it's a little like sketchy and shady to like not tell your viewers that it's sponsored. So that's kind of how I feel about it. I mean, I feel like if someone's going to offer you money and you think it's a good deal and whatever and like go for it just make sure you tell people that that's the arrangement and don't keep it like shady um have i or would i ever do one i well no i've never done one um i would do one i guess if it's a product that i or service that i believe in and that i support like regardless of the money <laughs> um like if it's if it's like a something that I know sucks uh, and they say oh we'll pay you this much money to say that it's awesome like I'm not gonna do that because I I don't think that's ethical to do but yeah so like it would have to be something that I actually believe in and want to support anyways and then it would be great if people so if any if anyone's out there wants to pay me to like you know but no <laughs> I'm just kidding um like I'm I'm assuming because I'm, my video is a makeup channel this is like more regarding like makeup brands and stuff like that. And like, yeah, I don't know. I just don't see that ever being like applicable to me. I mean, it would be amazing if I grew that much, but like, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, okay, number eight, this is the last question. Um, what do you think is the biggest challenge of doing YouTube part-time? Um, I guess, I don't know, it's not, that challenging for me. Like I said, I, I'm, 
pretty um, realistic about what I have the time to do and what I don't. So if I don't have time to like be a pretty like, I don't know. If I don't have time to do editing like other YouTubers do, then I just don't do it. So that is what it is. I mean, I, I gotta live my life too. So um, yeah, I don't find it super challenging so far. I mean, it might get more challenging like the further along this journey I go, but so far it's it's been fine so we'll see i mean i guess one challenge is that like if i want to film on a certain day i have to and i want to film it during the daylight hours when the lighting's good like then i lose productive time during that day to do other things but that's all about like time management and that's something with every every hobby even that you have like is going to be that way so you just have to find the time if you want to do it or or if you don't then don't so all right, so that's the end of this tag video. Um, I hope this guy, this video gave you guys some insight into my life, I guess, outside of YouTube. Um, uh, that, yeah, that's about it. That's all I have for you guys today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, if you want to like and subscribe, that would be amazing, especially the um, hit the bell icon too, so that you get notifications when I post a new video. I post a new video every day, so um, yeah, that'd be great. Help, help me out, guys. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.